Hey everybody, Fish in the Ville here, and today I'm going to be showing you these new rod holders that I found at Dick's today. Well, not today. What am I talking about? Uh, a couple months ago, uh, they they were three dollars uh, for four of them. no, not four, three three dollars for three of them. I broke my fourth one. Um, but all it is is it's a there's a Y shaped shaft comes down to a point that you can stick straight into the mud. It's got a pointed tip. It's not sharp, but it comes to a point. Safety reasons, I guess. But it's there's a cool little feature about this. If you watch, bam, three foot tall rod holder. How about that? And it comes in two different colors, orange and green. Now I broke my green one. It got jammed somehow, stuck like that. So the first section. Oh shit! No, the first section comes out, but it doesn't lock completely. And then the second section comes out and locks completely, but then the third doesn't even come out any more than this. And I can't completely close it because it's jammed. I don't know how it got jammed. I was fishing and went to pack it up, and it wouldn't fit in my tackle box. And another one was in there, and I'm like, what? What? What's wrong with this one? And I took it out and looked at it, and it, sure enough, it was jammed. I don't know if mud got in it or something, but as you can see, it's compared to this one. And this one is newer. I don't I haven't used this one much, but it slides very easily. But see, this is this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what the one that I have that's jammed looks like, stuck like that. So yeah, I mean, I kind of messed it up, but they're they're great little rod holders. They work. They hold up. I mean. Just try not to step on them. That's how I broke my other one. I was fishing in the dark and it fell over after I took it out of the ground and I leaned it up against my tackle box and it fell over and I was cleaning up my stuff and I stepped on it. I heard a crunch. I knew instantly what it was. Looked down and this little shaft thing right here was broken in half. Wasn't too happy about it because I had to go out and buy more. But they're they're good little pole holders. They're great for at the river too. Like if you want to take this and stick it in a pile of rocks or in the gravel in between the rocks and just slide it up to wherever you're fishing at at an angle so that you can hold it and it won't and your pole won't slide out and it won't it won't get away anything the pole holder the fish the rod anything and it won't it and if you can you can use them on the beach too you can spike damn it, you can spike them into the sand and then uh, you can extend it and you can take it and you can spike it all the way down to the very to the last shaft if you want to so that it won't come out and you can put your pole in it and you can walk off and not have to worry about losing your pole or your thing and you can also use it as a line support in the ocean I don't know not many people would do this but I, would, I used it like this and what you do is you take it you put it in the ocean but you don't you don't put it by your rod tip you walk it out and you put it in the sand by the by where the waves are at and you put your line in it and this way if you put your line right here your line runs freely through that if a fish takes it if you have your drag set for that like a almost like a no roll rig um, for catfishing in Kentucky that's what I use at the ocean catch several fish but the line runs freely through that and it won't get caught in any coral or anything that's in the sand and uh, it keeps it from it keeps the line from rolling back in the current because the, it comes with the waves and if your line's up suspended above the waves it can't come back to the shore so you can keep your line out longer and when it comes time to reel your line in you just reel it up and when you get your weight to the end of the pole holder you just lift your rod up and then pull it up over top and keep reeling it in you can cast it back out and position your line over top of it and you're good to go again your line won't come back towards you unless it's an extremely strong current because this will if you do it to the full three feet this will extend your line up into up into the air almost your whole line if you cast it out not too far I'd say maybe 150 feet max uh, and it'll keep it levitated except for right at the weight and it can't roll back if it's not in the if it's not in the water uh, this has been fish in the ville uh, thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe uh, thanks for watching